How's it going everyone? Today we have a different kind of video. Um, I'm going to talk about forensic imagers. Uh, this video has been um, inspired by Scott Moulton and his speech at one of the uh, tour cons, um, I think dot con. He was talking about um, what forensic images can do and can't do. And um, since we do a lot of forensic work, we have to rely on a forensic imager. So um, one of the biggest problems with a forensic imager, they cannot handle bad sectors. So when you have bad sectors, what ends up happening is uh, forensic imager, we actually use some sort of a derivative of a DD. So it will read the sector. It, it will try to read the sector. It can read the sector. It will actually skip over that sector. It will fill that space with zero. We'll move on. And you know, that's all you know. I mean, the, sometimes we'll give you an error message. Sometimes it will not give you an error message. Um, you know, you might be missing data. I mean, you might think, well, it's a one sector. I mean, I'm going to demonstrate a drive that will have 30 bad sectors. I'm going to use DC, uh, D3DD. And D3DD can, um, can image the drive. It will notify you of bad sectors, but it will not go any further. Well, it will go to the end, but it will fill that space with zeros. Uh, you know, that's all great when there's only one or two bad sectors, but now you're missing data. So let's say you have 300 bad sectors or even 10 bad sectors. You might be actually missing an IP address or email address. You know, it might be enough data to exonerate someone or, or put someone in jail. Uh, so if you're testifying in court, you might say, yeah, my imager gave me all my data, so everything's okay. You know, and then the good lawyer might say, well, are you sure you got all data? Because our expert took that drive, imaged it with a tool like a Tollout or DeepSpar, and guess what? Get all the data. And then we actually have data you missed. Uh, so that's what might happen. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this drive, put it onto one of our Linux machines that we use for some forensic work. Not, nothing really uh, big, but we use it for some imaging that, of good drives um, if the image is taken. And I'm going to image it with D, D3, D, DD3 CD, whatever. And the, the demonstration drive will have 30 bad sectors that will be filled with zeros. Then I'm going to take the drive over to a Deep Spar Imager, and then we're going to image it on the proper imager and see what happens. And you'd be surprised that we can actually go back and reread those bad sectors and get that data, data that's missing from an imager. Uh, on that note, let's begin. I'm just sitting here editing the video and um, I realized I, I wasn't clear enough on the images. What the original video was about um, was about uh, forensic imagers that can't deal with bad sectors and in comparison to uh, a forensic imager that can deal with bad sectors, something like a uh, deep star imager um, or a tola. So I wasn't very clear in my video. I, I did mention, well, we're gonna use an imager and we're gonna use some DD, see whatever, derivative of a DD to image a drive. What I meant to say is uh, a forensic imager you can buy and, and a proper data recovery tool with forensic capabilities uh, and, and method of dealing with bad sectors. Anyways, back to the video. So here we are in Linux. Uh, we're going to use DC3DD and uh, we're going to image this drive here into an image file. We're going to hash it with MD5 <clears throat> and we're going to create a log. I just need to root privileges here and I'm gonna speed this up but I know this drive for a fact has bad sectors somewhere around 98% it isn't many this is why I chose this drive specifically uh, because I don't want to run this for a week <laughs> to try to read some sectors but uh, we're about to hit this area so here it is uh, see now it's hitting those bad sectors it's, it's obviously going over them and uh, what you're gonna see near the end here is that that uh, area with bad sectors was filled with uh, zeros. So here it's almost completed. Just a few more to go. And here we go. Bad sectors replaced by zeros. 30, I think, yeah, 30. So we're just gonna see the file, there it is, 80 gigs. So the entire image there is just missing data. So let's move over to uh, uh, DeepSpar. So the way we handle evidence when it comes in is uh, we label it, we start chain of custody, uh, we give it a case number, this is the source drive, this is the destination. 
and uh, first thing we're gonna do is plug it in plug in a config drive because we don't want to write the configuration um, for this case into the evidence or into the source into the uh, destination so here we go we're gonna plug in the source into our deep spar machine it's power and data so that's the drive plugged in here uh, next step is to take our destination drive there it is there and we are going to plug it into this uh, eSATA docking station uh, this docking station is hooked up by eSATA to the back of the um, uh, deep spar machine so there it is there now turn it on and now we can power on our uh, deep spark computer which is actually what it is it's just a standard system doesn't have an operating system and it just has the uh, uh, deep spark PCI Express card so this is all the drives that are plugged in and here's deep spark just a standard card Okay, so let's uh, put the computer up and start DDI. We'll just take a second here to boot. Uh, there's no operating system, this is just Dr. DOS. This is just so we can start the, uh, the software. So it's DDI-LS to make the log. And the log is saved to the uh, USB drive this, com this computer boots from. So DDI is running. And now we can go over into DRE. DRE is... Um, uh, DSA recovery environment. This is uh, this is what we use to connect to our other computer that, that's actually running uh, DDI, uh, which is a DeepSphere Imager with forensic add-on. So just a second for it to boot up, and there is the uh, DOS screen from the DeepSphere Imager. So first thing we're going to see is our destination drive and our and our config. We're going to have to hit F11, and that spins up the uh, source drive. So now there you see all three drives. So uh, we're going to do pre-configuration, we're going to disable smart. We don't want the drive re relocating sectors as it goes because that's what usually happens. You might actually start with the drive uh, in one size, by the time it's finished it's been relocating sectors and <laughs> you actually end up with different size. Uh, this is what a lot of uh, problems can arise. This is what a lot of these images can't do. This is, why, this is where DeepSpire is so good at doing this. So we're going to start our imaging and imaging is starting. There we go. Now it's running. So it's gonna do its usual thing. It's gonna go to the entire drive. This is obviously sped up. This will this I think took I don't know 20 minutes or something. So and near the end, you're gonna start seeing you see on red it, right now it says zero on top there. See now you see a bunch of blocks that it didn't read. But we're gonna finish the drive and now we're gonna go back a little bit to those yellow areas. And we're gonna start playing around with read timeouts and, and a bunch of other options. And this will actually give us great opportunity to opportunity to reread those sectors and you're gonna see I had to actually run it a bunch of times uh, to get those unread sectors we got 30 unread so we're gonna keep playing around with the with the timeout with the different configurations we're gonna get those sectors you're gonna see them start dropping soon and now uh, 28 so it, it's, it's slowly reading them this took me some time uh, now, now we're down to 20, 19, 18, and this is actually reading this data. This is the data that was missing. See, 9, 8, 7, 6, almost finished. Uh, we just have a few more to go. 3, 2, 1, 0, done. This is the entire drive. This is the sectors we're missing, and now we have them. So, what did we learn from this demonstration? I think that the biggest point to take here is... is uh, to notice that not images, not all images are created equal. The one we use uh, is on one of the two that can deal with bad sectors, and there's not many that can. And unfortunately, um, you know, nothing's going to change for a while. Uh, I'm glad that we, we made the right decision. But since we do data recovery, we understand hard drives uh, probably a little bit more than most forensic guys. Uh, um, you know, and, and it's important to understand how drives work. Because you know problems can arise later on, as you get into drives with bad sectors or failing drives, and you know I, I've heard of statistic that there's probably at least 20% of drives out there in the field that are bad. Uh, you know we have the luxury of being able to bring the drives out to, to a lab and image them here, but 
I think if you're up in the field, uh, the, then you might be stuck with an imager that can deal with bad sectors, and sometimes you can't get past the bit area, and, you, and your imager will simply fail, and that will be the end of it. Uh, you don't have the evidence, so what are you gonna do? Anyways, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be making more soon. Thanks for watching.